This presentation is about the MEI Further Maths Qualifications, AS and A-Level, new for September 2017. The qualifications were designed and developed by MEI. Now that the qualifications are accredited, OCR takes responsibility for running the exams. Of course, MEI will continue to offer resources and support for teachers and students. This presentation gives an overview of the Further Maths qualifications, explaining the choices you have and explaining some of the design decisions we made, how they support good teaching, learning and assessment. Half of the content is the same in all A-level Further Maths specifications given by the DFE. In the MEI spec, this is assessed in one core pure paper. This leaves 50% for options. Some of that core pure content has to be mandatory in the AS level. MEI has chosen to have one compulsory AS core pure paper worth one third of the AS level. We could have chosen more than one third of the AS level to be compulsory pure content, but here's our reasoning. If the amount of pure maths you have to learn in A-level further maths is the same size as FP1 plus FP2 plus FP3, not the same content but the same size, how much of that do you want to teach in year 12? We looked at the content, discussed it with teachers and others, and decided that the answer was one third, the same size as FP1. The diagrams show how you might sensibly divide up the A-level core pure between year 12 and year 13, and how that works if you want to take the AS level at the end of year 12. When we asked teachers about options in further maths, we got lots of different answers. So our scheme offers lots of different possibilities. Of course, once you've decided what you want to offer in your school or college, that complexity won't matter. Here are the optional topics you can choose. Then there's more choice. How much mechanics or statistics do you want to offer? You could decide to stick with the compulsory mechanics in A-level maths. That's like doing M1 and not do any more in further maths. Or you could do some more. That's like doing M2 as well. Or you could do a lot more. That's like doing M2 and M3. We think we've chosen the right amount of mechanics or statistics to offer. And it gives you flexibility. Here's our first example. The students take two options alongside the core pure and they do more mechanics than statistics. In size, but not in content, the core pure paper is like FP1 plus FP2 plus FP3. The mechanics major paper is like doing M2 and M3. The statistics minor paper is like doing S2. The diagram shows how they might fit into two years. If you wanted to take AS further maths, then the pure mechanics and stats you study in year 12 can be taken as three papers that make up an AS qualification. but you might not want to study that much mechanics. There's a statistics major paper as well, but you might not want to study that much statistics. So you can take three different optional papers instead of two, like in this second example. Here are the equivalent modules from the current spec. Remember, these equivalences are only about the size, not the actual content. The three options can be taught in any order. 
any two of them will go with an AS core pure paper to make an AS in further maths. Here are the two examples together. In example one, you study two optional topics, but you do a lot of mechanics. You take a major and a minor. In the second example, you study three different optional topics. We call this three minors. It's important to say that even though we're showing how some options can be taught in year 12 and others in year 13, all the exams for the whole A-level have to be taken together at the end of the course. Of course, there are more than two possibilities. Here are the choices if you want to go down the major plus minor route. The major paper can be mechanics or statistics. Then there's a list of six minor papers to choose from. You're not allowed to choose mechanics minor. If you choose mechanics major, the content overlaps. And similarly for statistics. Also, you might struggle to teach extra pure or further pure with technology alongside a major paper. You run the risk of not having enough material which you can teach in year 12. So, realistically, if you study stats major, then you'd probably choose mechanics minor, numerical methods or modelling with algorithms to go with it. Here are all the choices if you want to take three options. You just choose three from this list. You probably wouldn't choose both of the last two because they're best taught in year 13. But it is permitted. And here are all the possibilities in one diagram. You can download this diagram with more details as a PDF from the MEI Further Maths webpage. There are two features of the MEI spec which may be attractive. The first is that whatever you choose in year 12, you can decide a bit later what to study in year 13. Suppose you start with mechanics and stats in year 12. You can then decide to continue with one of them in year 13, say mechanics, and do mechanics major and stats minor. Or you could decide to do a completely different minor option in year 13. The second feature is that you might want to do some mechanics in further maths, but you might think it would be better to leave it until year 13 when you've done most of the mechanics from A-level maths. That's fine. Do two other minor options in year 12 and then mechanics minor in year 13. There's a lot of flexibility in the MEI scheme for further maths. One other extra detail. Candidates may take extra minor optional papers and the best combination counts. We know that some students do take more than 12 modules in the current maths and further maths system. So we wanted to offer this possibility we can't give credit for the extra work, but it does mean that students can take an extra paper if they wish, without risking their result. This may be because, for example, their university wants them to study some mechanics and the school does not usually offer mechanics as an option, so they're learning it with support from the FMSP. Or it may be that some students want to take the Further Pure with Technology paper, but the senior management in a college are nervous about the effect on results. Here are the details of the codes for each paper and also the length of each exam paper and number of marks. The core pure paper is worth 50% of the A level. So you might expect it to have an exam which is three hours long. The major paper might be two hours long and the minor papers one hour long. This would give a, a total of six hours exams. But three hours seemed a bit long for a paper and one hour a bit short so we introduced some scaling to make it work. 
the 144 marks in the core pure paper are scaled up to 180 marks to get the proportion as 3 to 2 to 1. Some teachers might think that 2 hours 40 minutes is still quite long for an exam paper, but these are further math students on their way to university. Some of them may be taking 3 hour long university admissions papers or 3 hour long undergraduate exam papers. It's important to bear in mind that all the A-level exam papers are set and awarded at the same standard, whatever the content. What about AS Further Maths? We do hope that maths departments will still be able to offer AS Further Maths, even if their school or college generally doesn't offer ASs anymore. It's such an important qualification, and it is different from other ASs, in that it shows progress beyond an A-level, maths, as well as being stepping stone to another A-level, further maths. We've designed the qualification so that it's possible to teach AS further maths alongside AS maths. And basically, AS further maths works. Anything you can sensibly teach in year 12 can be turned into an AS. Here are some of the AS options. You sit the mandatory core pure paper and then any two others. You can see how the content matches the content from A-level further maths papers. This is what makes AS further maths work. However, AS exam papers are all set at AS standard and A-level exam papers, even on the same content, are all set at A-level standard. Actually, we have two other AS optional papers, Mechanics B and Statistics B. These are equivalent to the second half of the major options in the A-level. These don't really work in Year 12, but some schools and colleges offer AS Further Maths in Year 13. And these options give students the chance to study the maths they need for their university course rather than just the maths which can be taught in year 12. These exam papers are set at the same AS standard as the other AS papers. One last thing about AS further maths. Most of the papers can be taken as a standalone level 3 certificate. One of the advantages of the current modular scheme is that students can try some maths, succeed at it, and so do some more. Linear qualifications make that difficult. We've tried to put back a bit of that flexibility here. So, a student who's not confident enough to start AS Further Maths in Year 12, or doesn't have time, or the teaching's not available, can take one or two of the papers and get a qualification with UCAS points. They might then want to take the whole AS in year 13. Or perhaps your school or college won't let you take AS exams. Perhaps you could persuade them to let students take the AS Core Pure paper as a standalone Level 3 certificate. This is a qualification and a great progress check for your further mathematicians. Are they going to be okay taking the full A level or is AS more appropriate in Year 13? Or perhaps a student who applies to university realises they need to do more maths than just A-level maths. If they can't take the whole of AS Further Maths in Year 13, they could at least take a relevant Level 3 certificate. The papers for AS Maths are all 1 hour 15 minutes long. The rest of this presentation has a very quick overview of the content of the different papers. There are individual presentations on each strand with much more detail on the MEI website. You can also find a presentation on the MEI Maths page with details of other aspects which are common to Maths and Further Maths, which are not repeated here. The content of the A-level 
core pure paper is given to us by the DFE. This is just an outline. Actually, we've added one small item. One of the mandatory topics is finding the distance between two skew lines. This is hard to do without knowing about vector products. We were concerned that some teachers might teach vector products and others wouldn't. So for clarity and fairness, we added it in. The use of a calculator is expected to work them out. Some of these topics we were given by the DFE, but others we have chosen. We decided to include equations of planes, but not the vector equation of lines. The equation of a plane seems a natural extension of the work in two dimensions. It fits well with the work on matrices, and it's helpful for understanding the simplex algorithm in modeling with algorithms. The mechanics content is fairly traditional. The year 12 material does depend a little on some of the work on resolving forces and friction from the non-AS material from A-level maths, but this is clearly explained in the specification. The year 12 statistics work builds on the binomial distribution work in AS maths. The year 13 material builds on the normal distribution work in A-level maths. There is some enhanced use of technology, particularly in the year 13 work. Decision maths had to be rewritten to be appropriate for further maths. Modelling with algorithms starts with the familiar network and sorting algorithms, but to solve realistic sized problems, you have to use technology. The second half of the course shows how some network algorithms can be rewritten as linear programming problems, and that these can then be solved using software. The numerical methods paper has the same material as the current numerical methods, with the addition of one small topic called relaxation. There's no coursework, so there are clearer expectations about what spreadsheet knowledge is required. The Extra Pure paper has four compulsory topics and is most suitable for students going on to do a heavily mathematical degree course. Students use a computer in the exam for further pure with technology there are three topics with one question on each. This paper is the future of A-level maths. You can get more information about the MEI specs from the MEI website, including how to register for free resources and our supportive community, or contact us by email. We look forward to hearing from you.